we met and we, we went on our first date and we decided to go on a second date. So that was a win for me. And on one of those early dates, uh, we were talking about the, her children. Uh, I knew she had three children. She had mentioned that to me and given me the names. And throughout the evening, the stories kept surrounding two of the kids and, and isolating one of the third that never got as much attention. And I wondered why, and I called her out. I said, you know, you have three kids, but you're only talking about the two. Is, is there a reason? And, uh, and she paused, and with a little bit of a sigh, she did say, um, Well, this is kind of where most men run. Gaston is 11 years old. He's my oldest son. He um, was diagnosed with, um, it's called a GABBR2 um, disorder. It's where a particular variant doesn't transfer. And so the neurons in his brain are firing on all cylinders and they haven't stopped. And so he's not able to process things like we are. So even though he's 11 years old, it's like he's one year old. So needless to say, um, I didn't run uh, anyway. And uh, uh, we got to know the kids very well and they were sweethearts and I just fell in love with them right away. Um, and we developed our relationship as time went by and eventually we got married and they were all uh, integral into the wedding and I, I gave my vows not only to Sandy uh, but to the children because, um, you know, we we're I'm marrying into this family uh, and I wanted to make sure that they knew that they were, um, they were a part of a family and I wasn't just marrying mom. Early in our marriage, we decided to move to the East Coast, moved here, and when we got here, we were both kind of like, well, where do we go to church? Because it's hard to find a church for when you have a child with special needs. I searched high and low for churches where we used to live, and it wasn't easy. You would think that it is and it's not and so I was nervous because I didn't know if I wanted to go through all of that again but I did know that we wanted to raise our kids in the church and we wanted to be in the church. Our neighbors were going to Westridge and they invited us one time and we all came as a family and were hit with a wall of kindness and love that I've never experienced before and it, you know it sounds cliche but I, I wish I could say everybody. I can't remember all that was going on because um, there was almost overstimulation of acceptance, um, not only for us um, and, and our kids, but uh, particularly with Gaston uh, in his wheelchair and people just coming up to him and saying hi and good morning and we love you. And I'd never seen anything like it. And uh, it just struck a chord and my, my heart was pulled in uh, rapidly. So we both, we were like, I love it. This it's it's my place. It's where I want to go. And so from then on, we have started coming here, and we feel comfortable because we can actually sit in church and listen to the sermon and not stress or worry, and actually have some respite. The more we attended, I think we just more or more felt this is our, our place um, to start to grow roots, I suppose. And um, I joined a men's group, and uh, Sandy uh, joined a, a women's group. And um, it, it's, a, it's a fascinating, wonderful way to dive deeper into things you don't get to do uh, just listening to a sermon necessarily. And so for us, that's one way to grow. I have learned so much. I have, um, I'm actually opening my Bible now. And I've, I grew up in the church, and I, I, I used to learn scripture and in Sunday school, but I've never opened my Bible and studied the Word. And in this group, I um, bought a new Bible, and it's, it's like I'm starving for it. I can't put it down. I can't get enough. This church in every single way has been beneficial for us. If, if I were to look from 30,000 feet down on uh, my, my journey from before I met Sandy and, and the kids, and particularly Gaston, I would look at this and just say, this kid has um, made me evolve. Um, I've grown closer uh, to God. I certainly have. Uh, he, Gaston, just reminds me of just love, <laughs> and God is love. And uh, finding a church family here that supports and loves him with an integral sense of, you know, expanding on the mission 
to take care of these special needs kids. I've never felt anything like that, and it brings me closer to the family, the church, and my interest in growing spiritually and, and becoming more of a disciple uh, than I've ever been. It really does, and it's nothing I could have predicted. It's amazing how one little boy can change your whole life for the positive. And you would think that it would be changing your life for the negative, and it's just not the case.